Now I'm going to talk a bit about um, uh, the possibility of doing sociology with postcards. And this device for doing sociology comes out of um, a project that I'm currently working on, a visual sociology project, where I'm interested in exploring how sociology might involve making things um, to explore different kinds of futures. Um, so I'm going to focus on this specific project today. And it responds to a recent patent granted to Amazon um, for what is called a system and a method um, for anticipatory packing, package ship it, shipping, but more commonly they refer to it as um, speculative shipping. And this is um, uh, intended to ship products to different geographical hubs in advance of specific orders. So you don't order um, already, they're kind of they're shipped um, near you, so when you order them there's not such a delay um, in the, the delivery time um, and, the, and the cost as well. So there's lots of different things I could say about this, um, but what I'm interested in specifically here is one of the solutions that Amazon poses to dealing with the problem of when they've speculatively shipped a good and then it hasn't been ordered, that they don't want to kind of then um, have the cost of um, involved in returning it back to the warehouse. So what they say is that um, in some instances, if you are a particularly... Um, a good customer or a particularly valued customer, what they will do is that they will um, ship the product to you as a gift. And this is about encouraging kind of long-term relationships with potential customers. So the kind of business speculation that Amazon have been talking about has been critiqued a lot in social and cultural theory um, recently. So in their manifesto called Speculate This, an anonymous collective of um, academics and activists um, called the Uncertain Commons, have termed what Amazon are doing um, a form of affirmative speculation. And this they describe as affirming or a solidifying of the possibilities of the future. In contrast to this version of speculation, they posit what they call affirmative speculation, a mode of speculation concerned to hold on to the spectrum of possibilities while remaining open to multiple futures. This definition of affirmative speculation has many things in common with what in sociology is being called speculative method. So this is the idea kind of taken from design and that people here at Goldsmiths are kind of working with um, that um, wants to think about um, methodology and sociology as about asking questions rather than necessarily coming up with answers, as about stimulating latent social realities and imagining different kinds of futures. So drawing together um, the different themes, these different themes in my project then, my question became how might I develop speculative methods to explore speculative shipping? My affirmative relations to the future, so not the closing down but the opening up of the future, be created through a different system of sending gifts in the post. And a good starting point for me um, um, seem to be mail art, which is this uh, network or movement where artists send each other art in the post and it explicitly, um, in its, uh, how it originated, wanted to operate um, outside of how art was becoming commercialised. So I designed a postcard, or rather two postcards that were joined together along a perforated line here. Um, one um, side of the postcard I decorated in the rough and ready style of mail art. I am not an artist, as you will see from the um, images. Um, and, and I decorated them with materials that had been bought and delivered by Amazon. Um, so I was thinking about the materiality um, uh, of these postcards as well. Um, I included uh, the recipient's name and address on one side um, and then um, some instructions on the other side, which I think about. Um, so what they should do with these postcards. And then on the other side of the postcard was my, my name and work address. And um, so they were invited to speculate something about their future, keep one, one of the postcards that I decorated as a gift and return the other to me. Amazon's gifts are very um, carefully targeted, right? So they're, they're targeted at specific customers. I used a much more haphazard um, method. I researched the most popular surnames in the UK. I then used the online BT phone book and found examples of people who were living within the postcards around Goldsmith. And I sent the postcards um, to these recipients. I sent 26 postcards in all, one to a recipient with a surname beginning with each letter of the alphabet. 
what happened then. <laughs> From the 26 postcards I sent out, only one was returned to me. Um, the postcard was blank, so they hadn't kind of written anything on it. So in some ways then, I want to think about failure, right? The project is a failure. But in other interesting ways, I think it raises some interesting and important questions about the doing of sociology. So what are the boundaries between sociology and art, for example? No, again, I will say I'm not an artist. Um, do these methods highlight failure or what John Law has called the messiness of both doing research and the social world that often gets kind of written out of research accounts that tend to be very neat and tidy? If speculative research is about the posing of questions, what does this do to kind of social science's emphasis on findings, on, on kind of outputs and increasingly impact? So as well as generating a data that might be of interest to sociologists then, I'd also suggest that what might be sociological about doing this kind of project with postcards is that it, it requires us to think through questions, but also to experiment with what sociology is and might be. And it also, and this kind of connects to my initial starting point, invites us to, to speculate on and with the kinds of futures it might be able, we might be able to imagine and that sociology might be able to foster. <laughs>